we, we saw a lot of a lot of optimism coming into it, which really realistically i don't know like it's, i think people are coming back to that fear of missing out thinking that if they don't jump in um they're going to miss out and not not be able to buy a house Hey, it's Steve Zelnardo here with Remax Experts, Zelnardo Associates. We're back with Mike Gaddy here. We're doing a um, just a, a checkup from the neck up here in the market regarding what happened the last couple uh, months here. So this is basically a first quarter review. Um, Mikey, what are we seeing, buddy? So basically, I would say first few weeks, a couple weeks in January, were really slow. No action at all. Basically, guys were, were dragging people out to show properties and making deals and then third week hit and that's like a switch went off and we had low, we have low supply so we came up from about 8700 units at the end of the year last year and now we're up to about 10,000 units which uh, we've got some propped up buyer demand definitely um, I, w I would say there's a lot of optimism in um, I guess the rates the bank the five-year fixed was looking good to a bunch of people I guess they locked in for 120 days and uh, we've actually got into some bidding wars in the last I would say four or five weeks. Um, from they're not all working out. All not all the bidding wars. We we hosted one ourselves. We got, uh, got an offer. Didn't work out. We're back on the market, and now we got another offer, and hopefully we'll secure it today. Um, but there are certain properties that are up to four or five. I've seen as high as seventeen offers on on certain. Yeah, it's quite wild. Yeah, uh, it's even just going back to that, like January. We saw a lot of lot of optimism coming into it, which really realistically, I don't know, like it's, I think people are coming back to that fear of missing out, thinking that if they don't jump in, um, they're going to miss out and not, not be able to buy a house and they're going to miss that trend again. Maybe they got priced out of the market in the past. So they're, they're coming back in the market at these higher rates. And, and yeah, we saw that huge, inf even in Jan, early Jan, because we know that one property we sold um, in Essa that was never... It was it wasn't selling. We had no offers. We had it. Yeah. I think in constant August, showings, though, right? Co constant showings, but but it was like dead. It had like dead, uh, dry spouts. And then January came and it was like out of the box hot. Mm -hmm. um, and then we sold it. Uh, it was a third third week of January. Third match, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's quite wild. And even up to today, like you said, Agar, that bidding war didn't didn't work. But still, f f 55 people through the through the through the property through the door. So people yeah. are still looking for sure. Two eyeballs per per couple. How many eyeballs? Over two hundred eyeballs in that property. Exactly. In literally five days. So, uh, yeah. So that, that that's, it's a good strategy. Any any way you look at it. But let's see what happens. I mean, today they've they released. What did they release today? They released the uh, employment numbers in Canada. Twenty two thousand jobs created in February. So yeah. I mean, this all looks optimistic. The Bank of Canada held the interest rates uh, going forward, and then like the U.S. is gonna looks like they're gonna still jack them up going um, forward. Yeah, it looks their their numbers also came out yesterday, right? We were they're anticipated. I think what was it two hundred and change, and now they're up to three hundred eleven jobs added. So three hundred thousand. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Three hundred eleven thousand jobs added. So now they're talking. Is it between a half point or? Uh, our quarter point basically increased, so we'll see how that. Look at the scale of the countries, though. Oh, twenty-two thousand uh, in uh, new employment, three hundred eleven thousand. Yeah, yeah, and yes. the uh, <laughs> the whisper, subliminal <laughs> messaging. Um, yeah, so I mean, it, inflation rate in the U.S. is at six point four percent. I'm just looking here online here, and in the month prior, is six point five percent. They're going to release them next uh, week, so we'll see what happens there. That, I mean, and Jerome Powell will probably go up with another uh, quarter basis points. Um, and then what are we in Canada? Five nine? We're at five nine. We came down, I think it was from six four. Six three? Six three. Six three. It was yeah. six three. So 40 basis points. Okay. Um, yeah, again, obviously, the, the people, are, you know, it was pretty easy to predict that they weren't going to raise the rates. You know, it was like, oh, they, they're like, oh my God, they didn't raise it. It's like, it's easy to predict they weren't going to. Like, the damage is done. I, and again, it's, it's so redundant when you're going to hear me say this, but it's like a, a large cruise ship making a turn. It's got a lag period, a lag time, and then ultimately what, what the effect is, um, we're going to still see. So there's echoes in the chamber right now, and we still haven't seen the true effect. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna, like, I guess they, they do say it takes, what, eight to 12 months to see that lagging effect, like you're saying, that ship to turn, right? Yeah. And if we started raising about a year ago, so we're starting to see like the first, maybe second rate hike increase, and we've had eight increases uh, from last year to now. So we were probably gonna see effects of six to seven more increases. In, in the next coming months, you think there's gonna be more, a lot more increases? No, I'm saying like we'll see, start seeing the oh, and the effects the, of it, yeah, the previous, yeah, right? fully filter through the economy. I agree. I think ultimately, 
we, we're not seeing anything. And I got to give kudos to, to Canada because I figured by now it would have been a lot different. It would have shown a lot more signs of weakness. So, so people still got some holding power. I'm not sure if the banks are not foreclosing on the properties or they're giving them opportunities or if they're stealing from Peter to give to Paul mm. in order to pay uh, interest payments. But I know talking to, uh, you know, I don't want to name where I was or who the person was, but I just like I went there for service. Um, and literally the first conversation that they had with me, not, they didn't know that I was in this, this line of work, but it was like, yeah, it's so unaffordable. Our interest rate went from X to Y. I'm like, fuck, like, excuse my language, but it's just like, I, I, these conversations are coming up first thing you know, on top of mine. So how many people are like this, this lady or man that I, that was, that I ran into that was just brought this conversation up for me where it's so hard. We're working two jobs to make ends meet. And these are like general conversations. So how much longer, um, can people keep this up right no you're right and even looking at the like td cibc rbc and bmo like they have that the trigger rate right so that trigger rate and doing some more research now they're not being triggered like where they have to come in and raise their uh, their payments to come back to 25 or 30 years of amortization they're actually like adding on that print uh, that extra cost and interest onto the back end to the to the principal right so now their mortgage their print or the actual mortgage amount is going up and um their property right now i guess is holding steady but came down well 15 20 points right so it's a double whammy let put that into to context in that story from our client that oh, works at the bank yeah with, you know which one i'm talking about the the hot, hot, double the yeah the double whammy there <laughs> you're talking about the uh, the one that they came in and to gentle to gentle what was it oh which one you remember it's so, so oh, fuck, I'll tell it. So, uh, Mike meets with our clients. They work at the bank, and, and obviously, we don't know who, who the cat was that had this loan. But th they were, they're basically, pay they were, they had a mortgage that was, I think it was seven thousand or something like that a month. Um, oh, okay. And it went up to fifteen thousand. Yeah. And now the immortalization is at two hundred years. Yeah, it's two two hundred and forty years. Yeah, yeah. So it's like quarter century. So to get that's as long, that's as old as America. <laughs> exactly right. So to get, to, it's crazy to pay off a house, yeah. in Canada. So to get back to to get him back to thirty year amortization, he they had to raise his double his payment to like fifteen thousand a month. Right. So yeah. So that that's got to be a two million dollar mortgage for sure. Yeah. I think that's where we kind of broke it down to. Uh, yeah. Right. Because a million, how much was a million to to land at the at the let's say. At, 1.8 or 2 percent a was million that? dollar at 1.8 you had to be at like three grand for four something grand. like that right yeah three thirty five hundred maybe yeah 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 so that makes sense so, so 35 would be seven grand with two million but still it wouldn't make sense because then if, if the rates of one let's just say they had a one was he at two percent and now he's at five and change right but he's only interest like he, he's only interest it's only yeah yeah, so that's why he's at 200 <laughs> Every year is still 240 years. It's like Groundhog Day. Yeah, yeah, it's just a hamster. It's a hamster. What are you going to laugh? What are you going to do? You're going to laugh. What, what are you supposed to do? Some will laugh, but unfortunately, some will cry. No, but it's like this, you, you can't cry. Like, you, you just feel bad, right? This is a disaster. It's just, it's just obviously, it's a position the government put everybody in with the cheap money and all that stuff. I can go on for days talking about the same shit, but. It is what it is. We're here now, and, and uh, I'm just surprised at how propped the market still is right now. I, I was expecting more weakness, but I think we're in the wings of it. I'm starting to realize now, like all these conversations with you know new new people that I meet, and it's it runs always into this question. Before it was always about COVID and masks. Now it's about interest rates and not afford. Either. So it's like a, one pandemic led into another pandemic. Yeah. So. No, you're right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll always respond to them naturally. And please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, that's it. We're signing off. Have a great day. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.